you've probably used Airtable automations to set fields, send emails, or create linked records. They're brilliant for simple native automations, but the moment you include multiple apps, files, or complex workflows, things start to get messy. And that's where a webhook and a platform like make.com come in to save the day. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com, and we help companies get set up and automated using industry-leading portals, apps, and integrations. And today, we're going to build an automated workflow that you can bring into any base. This webhook workflow is a pattern you'll reuse, so make sure you keep watching. Now, I want you to think of a webhook as a watched link. Airtable pings it, make receives it, and you decide where the info goes and what happens. Send a Slack message, create tasks, update another system, or write it back into Airtable for tracking. Today, we're going to be using this sales hub as our example base. We've got our leads or our opportunities, which turn into contacts and accounts. We've got a table for our onboarding tasks, our jobs, contracts, quotes, sales reps, services, and invoices. Now, when we have an opportunity status change from opportunity to ready for contract, automatically an account and a contact are created. We've got a new onboarding record. So here we can see we've got Zeta Partners and it's pulled through some information, not all of it, but what we actually want to do with our automations is to notify our team through Slack, update our other tools, perhaps we need to create a contact in QuickBooks, and we also want to generate a quick list. Now, the reason that we're not going to be using native automations is because this is a multi-step and more complicated workflow. We could update records in Airtable, we could send an email or notify our team directly through the native automations, but we can do so much more with make.com, which is what we'll be using here. And beyond that, we also have a better audit log. So we can see the history of our automation and really dive deep into what's been happening and God forbid, what's gone wrong. Now, you might be wondering when should you choose a native automation over a webhook? So a quick rule of thumb before we build. You will want to use Airtable automations for simple in-base tasks like setting a field, creating a related record, or pinging one app with a tiny payload. Use Make when you need more than that. Multiple apps, branching or loops, file handling, retries, and clear run logs you can trust. Today, we'll build this simple workflow. Airtable, Make via Webhook, right back into Airtable. Now, if you want to learn how you could trigger a webhook using a button, make sure to check out this video where we dive into the possibilities there. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump into make and build this out. Now, firstly, we are in our scenario, and this is the terminology that we use for an automated workflow in make. It's where you configure, set up, and manage your workflows. So firstly, we need to add a module, and this is gonna be a webhook module. Now you'll see the option for mail hook, but we're just gonna select custom webhook, and then a motor will pop up. We'll select my gateway webhook. You can change the name of this if you want, but we're just gonna leave it as it is. And here we can see that webhook URL. So we're going to copy this and we're going to jump into Airtable and we're going to start setting up this. So we'll create a new automation. We still will need to create a native automation in order to send off this webhook. Now we'll need to include the trigger. And for us, we know that when a condition is matched, when our opportunities, so we'll search status, when it's updated to ready for contract, we want this to begin. Now we're going to use the run script action, but I will quickly let you know that if you do want to connect simply to your platforms like Slack, Google Calendar, et cetera, you've got some native integrations available there. So if you just want to simply send a message to your team, you don't have to follow this process. We're just looking at it for when you want more complicated business processes automated. So we're going to select run script and this will open up a new window. Now, depending on which automation platform you use, you will see a different setup on the back end, whether that be Make, Zapier, N8N, Relay.app, or one of the other competitors. So if we're back in our script editor, we copied our webhook. If we just paste this, well, that's not going to work. Instead, we actually need to prepare a script for our webhook. Now, I'm gonna quickly do that. I'll also include in the description of this video the script that you can use. So go ahead and grab that. And we run a test, so we know that this is currently working, but we want to ensure that on the left, we have input variables. Now we can see directly in here, we are mentioning the record ID. However, we need to tell this script what value replaces record ID. So when we test it, we can see that the record ID has been pulled through for our last record, which was that Zeta 
onboarding flow. So we've set this up. We'll finish editing. You want to ensure that you turn this on, rename the automation to whatever you like. And to ensure that this correctly sends to make, we want to test this automation. So we'll select the record. Again, we're going to use that Zeta Partners. We'll run that automation, jump into make. You'll want to run this, ensure that you do save. And that's now going to look for the call. So we'll jump back in there, make sure that it is testing at the same time. Select that, run automation. Just give it some time, we'll be patient. That's ran, so we'll jump back into make. And here we can see that we've had some data collected. So excitingly, we can see that record ID has been pulled through. Okay, we've set up the connection, we've set up the webhook. Now we need to determine what info we actually want to share or what data we want to share from Airtable over to make.com so that then we can build out our automated workflows. So we're back in the automation and we're going to actually edit that script further. Now, again, I will mention that if you do want the script, it'll be available in the description of this video. So let's edit that script or that code. We've currently got the record ID. I also want to include the lead name, perhaps the account manager, the email for sure, and any other information. So I'll do that quickly and then we'll continue. Okay, so I've updated the code or the script. I now have included the lead name, email, kickoff date, and account manager, but I haven't created an input variable for each of those. So we'll need to ensure that we follow the same capitalization. We've got lead name. We'll have to create a variable for this, bringing in the, I believe we call it lead name. Pretty straightforward. And then I'll add the other variables. Okay, so we've set up the other input variables and we've mapped our Airtable fields over to those. So if we run a test, we'll see an update over here with the values from the record we're using. We've got record ID, Zeta partners, email, kickoff date, and account manager. So we finish editing the script or the code and we're going to update our automation. Now, if we jump into data and we jump back to automations, we'll change this back to opportunity. I know we've already got the values in onboarding accounts and contacts, but I just want to show you. So we'll run this because we want to be looking for data and we're just going to update opportunity to ready for contract. Those automations will start to run. The webhook will send on our behalf. And if we jump into make.com, there we can see that our webhook has been triggered, sent, and make's been able to capture it. We've got the record ID, the lead name, the email, the kickoff date, and the account manager. Now we want to set up our automated workflow. So to add a module, a step or an action, we're going to select that plus icon and you'll see the options that you have here. Now we'll skip these first apps and we'll discuss connecting to your tools like Smart Suite, Notion, Monday, OpenAI, Google Docs, Google Spreadsheets. If you can't see your app, simply search for it. There we go. Then you'll select it. You'll be asked to verify a connection, but you can also see that you have multiple actions you can take. Okay, so I have added the modules for the apps we want to include in this automated workflow. We know that the trigger action is that webhook. It's where we collect the data from our Airtable, and we know that Airtable only sends that data if we have an opportunity that is now ready for contract and joins our onboarding workflow. So our onboarding workflow will look like this. When a webhook is sent or when an opportunity becomes ready for contract, we notify our sales team in Slack. So we'll jump into the Slack module. I've inserted the channel ID manually. And then from here, we can decide on what we want this message to actually include. Then we could bring in the data from our webhook. The client is Zeta. Now, the good thing here is that that is a dynamic value because we have those input variables each time that a new webhook is sent and a new opportunity is ready for contract put into the onboarding flow, we're going to receive their dynamic data. So it's not going to always come through as Zeta partners. It's going to come through as who is related to that record. Their email is, and then we can include their email. You'd want to go through, ensure that you update that message so it's ready. Once you're done, you can save that. And then that's completed and part of your workflow. From there, we then also have OpenAI. Now, if you do want to learn more about the new ChatGPT5, make sure to check out this video on our other channel, the latest from AI. We're excited to be expanding and giving you the insights into everything digital tools, not just Airtable and automated workflows. So you want to select the model you want to create this with. And again, very similar to that 
Slack message. We're going to use the data from our Airtable record to craft a prompt. Let's say, for instance, I want you to generate a proposal for our client data partners. Then we would include what other information is necessary. The kickoff date, the account manager, you'll most likely include the services you are doing, the expected project completion date, the team that's involved. The great thing here is that we can use OpenAI to really summarize what we're doing and even allow it to draft contracts and proposals on our behalf. So once you've selected and completed that, you'll want to hit save. Then Google Docs, this is where we could actually inject what OpenAI outputs for us and bring it directly into a Google Doc. The content, we could have static data. We can bring in again the data from our Airtable records and select where that's actually going to be stored when it is generated. We can choose a particular folder location or we could rely on the data, a linked URL, a linked Google folder to that Airtable record to store it in there. We'll save that. Now we've got the app modules. They're very straightforward. It's the tech stack that you currently have, but we've also got flow control. And this allows us to bring in iterators, routers, paths, where we can apply conditional logic. So I'm just going to bring in a router first and foremost. I'll move this over so it's nice and clean. And this is an incredible feature for when you have dynamic workflows, not just dynamic data. We're going to unlink that. We'll bring the webhook URL through here. And then we're going to add the Slack or we'll delete this, add the Slack module to that router. Now the purpose of the router, if we select here, will enable us to build conditional paths. So let's say for instance, we only want the clients with the account manager, Alex, to go down this path. So we would select the condition that's going to be the account manager. When the account manager is equal to exactly Alex Knowles, you'll notice that we have the option to use the normal conditional rules, not equal to empty value contains. We're just going to say equal to Alex Knowles, save. Well, make knows that when it is equal to Alex, we take this path. If it's not equal to Alex, we take this path. And then you would build out your automated workflow to manage two separate paths. I'll make sure to leave in the description of this video more information on those different features you can include in make.com scenarios in order to build powerhouse automated workflows. But I just quickly want to show you Pipe Dream. There are a heap of automation tools out there. Zapier, Make, Pipe Dream, N8N, Relay.app. And I just quickly want to show you how you can utilize that conditional logic in order to build exceptional automated workflows. So here, this is what we use when we are generating our descriptions and our tags for these YouTube videos. I mentioned earlier that we have the latest from AI as another channel. We also have automation helpers. Well, within this workflow, we have our automation deciding which channel it's going to be. And then we have different routes depending on that channel. For our automation helpers, we need to include affiliate links. We are formatting how that text comes through. We're adding a UTM link so that we can track who's watching. And not only that, also who visits our website. We've got AI brought in that helps us generate our descriptions and our tags. And then we're bringing it back into SmartSuite. This webhook trigger that occurs when we click the generate description button in our Airtable. Well, I hope this has been a helpful video. Don't forget I've left in the description of this video, the script that you can use for your run script step in Airtable automations. But if you are looking to generate webhooks from a button click, make sure to check out this video here. But if you are looking for help with your business and you want to automate awesome workflows like this, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where our team of experts are offering a free 30 minute consultation. So book yours today.